Okay, I'm going to do a little demonstration on how to clean a quail. These are fresh gamble quail from the Mojave. You can see I already cleaned one. I didn't like where I was holding it in the picture, so I'm going to do it again. Now you see I took and cut with scissors, and I'm only going to use scissors. I make a little cut just through the skin, at the base of the breast, and then peel all that back. Okay? Well, you can see this guy's been eaten while his crop is full. And I pull all the way back to where I can see the base of the wings. And when I get to the wing, I just cut that right off at the breast. Now you can make a little drum at out of the wing if you want, but I usually don't. And I'm not going to bother this time. Same thing on the other side. Quick little cut with the scissors. And there you go. You got the wings free from the breast. And now you can pull everything back. I'll turn it around here. And you can see we've got the neck of the bird right here. And we're going to cut right there at the breast. And then peel back all the skin on the back. And the feathers, too, of course. Now, we've got the legs sticking out still. So we're going to cut those off at the joint and then continue pulling over the thighs and we'll just pull the legs right out. See it turns inside out, pop, there's one. And this one's got a broken leg on this side from being shot, that's alright. And pop. And we continue all the way down and now you see we've got the little quail with all the rest hanging there. Now we very carefully snip just at the base of the breast without cutting into the guts just so we can get a little opening there. There. We reach in and pull out the innards and pull down his intestines and then everything's hanging there and we just cut up above all the icky stuff in his uh, vent and leave nice little chicken looking uh, quail. I've got a bowl of water just out of camera here just to clean this up a little bit and there you go this one's a little shot up but that's nice and you get a lot more meat I'd say probably double and uh, these make a really nice presentation when you fry them or grill them or whatever you like to do with them.